non ho capito scusa. So, sorry about that. It's, uh, it's a brand new episode and it's Monday and we're now in Bolton. So we're going to go track around Bolton now and then we're going to go to Scotland tomorrow. So let's get right into it.
typical me fashion, I managed to make a right and royal cock up of my route. I was supposed to go down, you see, you see all the badness montage, it was supposed to lead to a specific point that I've been to before and I wanted to visit, visit again and kind of tell you about a few things that have been on my mind. But as it turns out, I completely missed the road. And I went about a good hundred miles beyond that road and then I noticed all the mountains kind of disappear behind me and never to return. So we're gonna have to miss that this time around. Still, you know, in a beautiful, beautiful part of, part of Scotland. I'm serious. There is no better road in the entire United Kingdom than the one right in the heart of Scotland. Pick any, any route you want any route you want just go into the heart of Scotland and drive because it's simply the most stunning place you'll ever go as far as the UK goes it is unquestionably the most beautiful place you can be so with that I'll just add a little graphic here to let you know roughly whereabouts I mean so yeah I really do strongly recommend that you go visit there sometime because it's only cost you like half a day to drive up even if you're all the way down in London or on the south coast somewhere it's not a big deal to drive from one end of the UK to the other I've done it so many times already and I don't see how this is the thing that bothers me I don't see how people can go through life living and dying in the same town that they were born in and never exploring you know, the next town over, or the next city, or the next county, or the next country over, because it's not that far away. But that's something I'm going to get into later on anyway, because that's what I wanted to go to that location for, to kind of clear my head with you guys a bit. But for now we're going to go to Aberdeen, and we're going to get there, what time we have, quarter past two, we'll get there at four o'clock, so we're about, we're just under two hours away. And we'll wrap it up there, I think. So I'll catch you tomorrow. I'm actually really struggling with what I'm seeing at the moment. There's um, a lot more information has been coming out about the Manchester bombing. Uh, it's been, I've literally had it all day, I've not turned off the radio and the radio's been telling me about it for the whole eight hours of coming up here and now I'm in the hotel, it's some BBC news, you know, it's it, that's been on constantly as well. And it's, it's especially effective, the more information I hear about this, there's... As a young 18 year old girl who's who, who was confirmed as the, as the first victim um, who went to the same college I did and is from the same town that I'm from and not long after that there's a little eight year old girl who's also been confirmed and she's also from the same town that I'm from And the more information that's been coming out about this, the same, the people that are missing as well, and the the names of the locations that have been spinning off it is absolutely unreal. I, I can't actually come to compre comprehend the coincidence of what I'm hearing so far. There's people who are still missing 24 hours later who are from Manchester, who are from South Shields, from Bury, from Alden, from Gateshead. There's all these places that I've literally just been to, and literally a few a few days ago I was walking on that street and I'm looking at all these streets and the sheer difference. I'm not I'm not whining and saying oh my god I was just there and things like that. I'm I'm saying the the sheer difference between when I was just walking those streets and nothing. You, you know, not that there wasn't anything 
happening. And then you, you look at this footage and you see people literally running for their lives and crying and there's armed police everywhere. It is it, 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 it is a it's it's really shocked it's really shocking. I think the other way I can really contribute to this right now because I'm not a social media kind of person and you know these videos aren't aren't really the, these videos are here are here for my benefit I think uh, rather than for entertainment purposes I think that I think they're making these videos to kind of make an archive of my own little journey and I'm inviting you to come along with me to that but the only way I, could, I think I'm really going to contribute is I'm going to be wearing my Manchester United jersey tomorrow I think that's the only really way I can, I can really share condolences to this at the moment that really does pour out to any, anyone who's if he's affected by this at the moment and just hope that uh, you can't say things are going to you know get back to normal and things like that because it won't you know I just hope that people can find the strength to get up in the morning after this <laughs>